Topeka and Ranveer named their baby. Uh, I hope they did that a while ago because it was born. Well, they revealed the name. Okay. They revealed the name. Corbin Jr.? That's it. How, Yes, they named their child Corbin. I, Isn't that crazy? Yep. Wow. Or Beardo. That's the middle name. Corbin Beardo. Yes. Miles Singh. You must, you must be telepathic. Me and Ranveer like this. Well, I'm the tall one. Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy Just content. Just got it! Thank you for your support on Patreon. Follow the official Twitter account. Subscribe and hit that like button. Yes. There's a lot of things on Patreon. As always, Corbin's pole dancing. Uh, prove it. You know, at every wedding in Poland, there's pole dancing? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Boom! Comedy! What? Uh, today, we got a, uh, this is a food video. Um, Good, from, let's uh, eat it. It's from a channel called Luke. Luke! Nail. I am your father. Nail. I think it's Luke Nguyen. Nguyen. Yeah. Uh, Luke Nguyen, a, uh... Ooh, my nipple's itching. Southern India discovering the cuisine, sound, smell, and, uh, colors creating the perfect stage for a exceptional series of explorations. <laughs> I had a series of exploration with your mom. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> Mom jokes. People love it when we do them. Yep. They're not tired of them at all. No. Hey, if there's one thing we will be consistent on, Madurai mom jokes. is known as the food capital of Tamil Nadu. And Prove I'm it. in need of some guidance to approach this city's expansive food scene. Steal I have enlisted phone. the help of local food journalist Harini, who has offered to show me two of the most highly regarded mess restaurants in the city. A mess is a type of restaurant where the menu focuses on homely style cooking Ooh. and serves dishes that are simple yet delicious. Our first destination a is Ama Mess. Started in That's 1936 a great name. That's a great name. as a nameless, menuless street food stall, Ama Mess became a fully fledged franchise in the 90s. Aww. Before I get to sample any of the dishes, Harini is taking me to Amames's Central Kitchen, where their iconic Central dishes kitchen? are cooked before they are transported to the restaurant. Wow! Harini, this is their Central Kitchen? Yeah, actually, they, they used to cook here every time. Wow, look at this! Yeah, it's a salad. Mostly, uh, they used it for, to uh, make a 40 kgs per day. 40 kilos of these little red shallots. You're amazing, good job. Look at these big pots here. Oh, watch out, watch out. Rice is going in. <laughs> this is a very exciting kitchen. Whoa. How many kilos of rice would he cook a day? I eat more than 100 kgs per day. <laughs> yeah. My goodness, this is the seafood section? Yeah, of course. They, they were cleaning wow. every uh, seafood wow. they had. Uh... Oh, this smells good. Yeah, it's a chili spice. They use this uh, red chili paste for every dishes. Wow. You know what I find really interesting? Is this. Have a look at this. Here is all these spices here and these lovely, you know, stainless tubs. But these look like recipes. I'm used to entering Indian kitchens where everything's by feel and by touch. But here at Amames in their central kitchen, things are written down, they're weighed, right? Yeah, Everything's to scale, yeah. which is really, really great. That means consistency. I mean, I love coming to these kind of kitchens. And this is his It looked like that guy wasn't even a cook. He just went by and he pulled a Remy from Ratatouille. I mean, this is a, a little curry. I mean, uh, yeah. curry. We have, looks it's like biryani. biryani, really hot charcoal on the top. Kind of cooks it from the top. I don't think you need the charcoal. Well, steaming away. That's not biryani, that's <laughs> charcoal. What curry? Uh, rooster, rooster. Curry. Wow, yeah. the aromas that's coming through here. Ooh. My gosh, it's steaming hot in here. I've got fire coming from everywhere. <laughs> Careful not to step into a pot or a wok. Everywhere you step, there's something cooking. Goat's uh, head. Goat's head curry. Yeah, oh my head. Oh, Goat's head the curry. curry. Yeah. Chicken drumsticks in there. That goes in. Oh, this is a rabbit. This is a rabbit. rabbit. Oh, let's cook rabbit. I don't think I've ever tasted rabbit. I don't know if I have. Curry leaves, chili, sarinis. Onion. This is cool. It's also called This is what you call pfeffer. an incredible and memorable cooking experience. 
Now we're doing something else now in the next block. Yeah, Look up fennel, fenugreek, cardamom, cinnamon, star anise. Is this hot? Go I here. immediately like Auntie. his excitement. Yeah. Wow. Contagious excitement. Yeah. Well, cooking, anyway. He clearly Actually, loves they this. Are making bone marrow curry. Now, just walk you through this kitchen, there must have been Reminds me of, uh, of 14 dishes what's going his face on from the everything same time. All at once. So you really oh, need yeah. to... Oh, yeah. Kekoe fun. Kekoe. Yeah. yeah. Reminds me of his energy. Lots Very much. Jambos. Very Lots endearing. Jambos. Can you follow the recipe? Because I can't. So there's three walks going at the same time. We've got the rabbit, and then we've also got the quail in the smaller walk. Now, you've got to remember that Ama Mess here, or the Ama brand, started off as a street what side. A great name. Quail's another thing. I've had a quail right? egg, but I've never had quail. In a few lovely had dove. Dishes. And now they've become an institution. Been around for 25 I, years. Yeah, they've become a more uh, eminent restaurant Ooh. in Madurai. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at all that flavor. I mean, you know a mm. great dish when the flavor's there, yeah. but it's just very balanced, yeah. really well balanced. I love it. And this will be the first time I'm going to try a rabbit curry. So I'm super excited about this. Is he Australian? He sounds it. It sounds a little bit it of Australian. It sounds like a blend of Australian and... and English. After helping the Central Kitchen chefs cook their famous dishes, it's time to head upstairs to the restaurant and try the food. Yeah, he, he doesn't have a distinct no. accent, but it's kind of Australian. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing. So all of these things we saw cooking in the in the kitchen there, Yeah, of right? course. Homemade. They are making... Uh, homemade. Everything shopping. homemade. Yeah. yeah. So many ingredients, but really right. mild yeah. and yeah. balanced, which I really, yeah, really love. This is my first rabbit curry. I want to really I'm leaning in England. No, I think he's Australian. Oh, wow. Or at least mm. lived there amazing, a while. Right? Really delicious. And you feel lots of love in this, wow. right? Yeah. The Old serving, recipes, they're cooking. They're cooking. <laughs> Actually, I yeah. think their uh, dishes were more uh, tasty and flavorable because of their love. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. I love the food. Love the food. Mm. Yeah, he's Australian. What a great name. It, right? It's a great name for a restaurant. Now, Harini, where are we off to now? Actually, we are uh, going for Kumamas. Uh, here, we're going to have a varieties of dosas. I love dosas. dosas. Yeah. Excellent. Kumamas. No trade-in needed to get the new iPhone 16 Pro on us and the freedom to upgrade Shut every up. year at BoostMobile.com. Welcome to the wonderful world of Wilton. Create, share, and fearlessly enjoy Wilton. every moment. In 1975... Kuma Mess started as a food stall, planning to feed the crowds at Madurai's temple festivals. Before long, the demand for their food was so high they were serving out of their own restaurant. Today, Kuma Mess is most famous for its innovative take on doses. So here at Kuma Mess, they specialize in different doses, very different to what I've seen before. They're smaller, they're thicker, and they're really, really tasty. This one's traditional mutton curry dosa, but it's also gonna make a crab dosa, which is more of a, a modern take crab on that dosa. Let's start. Okay. So this is still rice, rice flour, kind of fermented. Look at that. Really, really nice and thick. Egg goes well. There's egg in this as well. Two eggs into the batter. Very it's different to the traditional larger crispy doses. So it beats two eggs into the batter itself, onto the hot plate. It's like a pancake. So the consistency is very much starts. like a pancake. This is a savory pancake or a savory dosa. Egg inside as well. And then you thin I it bet out. it's going to be nice and fluffy. Crab Just goes on top. Is this is my flour. kind of dosa. I love this. Actually, it does look like almost an okonomiyaki, which is a, a Japanese kind of pancake. Now we're going to do the mutton. This is mutton? Uh, mutton. This oh. is the mutton curry dosa. Mutton dosa. I like love pancakes. how many Great. things you can eat in India wow. for breakfast that are savory. Very good. I love the boom, boom. full of flavor, of course. Very good. This looks uh, amazing. Uh, Gorgeous. Stick nice that in my brown. mouth. Wow. Wow. Pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. And that's finished. Oh, yeah. Now look at that. Here we have the crab dosa with curry leaves. And this, we have the mutton curry dosa. I'm really that looking forward to dosa. trying this because I've never seen doses like this before. This is a specialty of Kuma Mess in Madurai. Let's eat. Kuma Mess. <laughs> yeah, he's all good. Has this been here, this Kuma Mess been here for a long time? He doesn't Actually, have a distinct uh, accent, though. For, uh, since 1991. Right. 
and it's almost 30 to 32 years sir. they are running and when it started it's very compact only yeah. 16 to oh, okay. uh, 15 members can uh, sit here and have yeah. their food so this is like a, a more more curry do we just pour it on top yeah we need to pour oh, on a top of curry okay. dosa and you just taste it oh lovely so when the, when did the crab dosa come yeah, uh, actually crab dosa mm. is some innovative uh, thing uh, mm. nowadays they are making. Actual uh, dosa for Kumar Mespaya famous for is uh, mutton curry dosa. Right. I yeah. love it. Innovative new things. Crab dosa, prawn dosa, yeah. fish dosa. Oh, I love the texture of this. Yeah, it's... Mmm. Yeah. Innovative. It's fluffy. Yeah. It's soft. The egg kind of puffs it up a little bit. <laughs> Almost like a souffle. Oh, and that's you delicious. can taste smooth seafood and oh. uh, go to... Uh, as well. It's really unique. Yeah. I love this. Mmm. Almost like a souffle. Yeah, it's That's delicious. This is the mutton curry dosa. Oh, wow. That just melts in your mouth. Yeah. Why don't I grind it up? Oh. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Yeah, really, really you. delicious. Oh. Wow. Uh, did he try the mutton? At the end, or did I think he, he was? I think he, I think he tried, tried both. Crab. No, I think he tried that both. That mutton curry looks fantastic. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find out where he is. Yeah, that's what I'm, I was looking for too. I'm interested. Find out where he's from. In, I can almost guarantee it's it's Australia. I'd be shocked if it's not. Yeah, Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, it's it's a, it's a subtle Australian accent, mm -hmm. but it's 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 there nonetheless. It has some of the sentences has that yeah the 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 um lilt I guess yeah. to it yeah. yeah um but it was man uh, mutton if he had said uh, like um, shrimp on the Barbie Barbie if he had said Barbie <laughs> well it's beautiful <laughs> no. crikey look at the eyes on that thing. Not everybody has a Steve Irwin uh, Australian accent. <laughs> they can only be so lucky. Oh, no joke. <laughs> Look at that beauty. Miss him. Except his son. Yep. He's a spitting image. Of his spitting son. image. It's yep. kind of insane. It, it's a little wild. He's like a clone. Yeah. It's great. Um, but yeah, that was a great video. I mean, he, I love I, him. I like his uh, person. I don't know. Uh, clearly, he's some type of chef, obviously, in, yeah. in, in Australia. Yeah. Uh, looks like he maybe is a little newer to uh, YouTube here. Um, but he. He has an infectious personality, uh, for sure. I like it. I like him a lot. Um, I'm trying to remember. Knows. I don't recall ever having anything remotely close to that kind of a dosa. No. Ever. But granted, we went... Uh, we had South which Indian is fine. Food. We had, we had South traditional. In Delhi, which is where we're supposed to have South Indian well, food. Well, I, I had it in Kolkata. <laughs> That's true. That's even better. Where I first had filter coffee, Kolkata. I mean, does it get more authentic than that? I mean, maybe more than L.A. <laughs> it, do, it does count as better than L.A. Well, unless... Unless you go to Tiffin Chennai. That's... Well, Chennai Tiffins. That, uh, yeah, Chennai Tiffins. Or the... Uh, the uh, Mayora. My, oh. Yeah. Ooh. Oof. I got to take Johnny there. Ooh. That food was <laughs> so good. Heavenly. Yeah. Um, I, I want to try a mutton dosa now. No joke. A mutton dosa? That sounds amazing. Um, also... Whoever came up with the name, I'm a mess. That's I'm a mess is fantastic. That's a I'm a mess. That's a god tier level name, right? Yeah, there. that's that is that's fantastic. You can't, you can't get mess. better than that. Um, that was fantastic. Uh, let us know the videos from him or other food videos we can react to, and uh, anything else we need to know down below. Juice.